Welcome to Trojan Tips, Trojan Batteries information segments designed to enhance and expand your deep cycle battery knowledge. I'm Vicki Hall, Director of Quality Assurance and Technical Services for Trojan Battery Company, and I'll be your host. Today we will be discussing the importance of measuring the state of charge of your deep cycle flooded battery using voltage and specific gravity. Whenever working around batteries, it's important to ensure you wear proper personal protective equipment, eye protection, and skin protection. All it takes to read the state of charge of your flooded battery is a voltmeter. You make sure that it is set to the proper voltage range for the battery type that you are measuring. This is an 8 volt battery. And all you do is you take the positive probe from the voltmeter, connect it to the positive terminal on the battery. You take the negative probe, which is black, and connect it to the negative terminal on the battery. And you read the voltage, 8.48, which is an acceptable voltage. The next thing that you do to read the state of charge of a battery, of a flooded battery particularly, would be to read the specific gravity. This is a very inexpensive hydrometer that you can purchase from a local automotive parts store. What you need to do is gain access to the battery by removing the vent. And always be careful to remove the vent away from your face. It's important when you're reading specific gravity that you temperature correct the value. So you should always have a thermometer. Place the thermometer in a center cell in the battery. Take the hydrometer and insert it into the cell of the battery and siphon out the electrolyte. You want to make sure that the float that's inside of the hydrometer floats freely and is not stuck to the side like this, as it can give you an errant reading. This reading here, once it is stabilized, is 1.285. That is an acceptable value. You then aspirate the electrolyte back into the cell, being careful not to get anything on you. And you would repeat this procedure for the remaining cells in the battery. You would record the values and then also record the temperature because, as I said previously, you do need to temperature correct the specific gravity. In this case, the temperature was 80 degrees, again, which is acceptable and temperature correcting the values of specific gravity then gives you the best indicator of the state of health of your battery. Whenever you're complete, you always want to make sure that you completely reinsert the vent into the battery. Again, being careful not to get any electrolyte on you. You should have a nice snug fit, making sure all of the vent caps are completely seated. When you're talking about understanding the state of charge of a valve regulated battery, as we discussed earlier, they're maintenance free. This is a valve regulated battery of the AGM type. This does not have any access to read the electrolyte. So you can only understand and measure the state of charge of a valve regulated battery through measuring the voltage. You do the same technique that you used on the deep cycle flooded battery. You take the positive lead from the voltmeter connected to the positive terminal on the battery and the black negative lead from the voltmeter on the negative terminal of the battery and record the voltage. 1265, an acceptable voltage. Correct specific gravity readings for temperature by adding 0 .004 for every 10 degrees Fahrenheit above 80 degrees, and subtract 0 .004 for every 10 degrees below 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Calculate the average of each of the readings and compare the result with this chart to determine the battery state of charge. If the specific gravity values are consistently low, which is less than 1.250, it could be due to the batteries not being fully charged or the recent addition of water, which dilutes the electrolyte at the top of the cell. In both of these conditions, the battery should be given a sufficient equalization charge that results in specific gravity readings that are representative of the battery's true state of charge. Regardless of what battery technology you choose for your particular application, Always be sure to read the battery manufacturer's user's manual, which should provide important information on installation, maintenance, troubleshooting, and storage. Thank you for joining us today to learn more about deep cycle battery choices. Also be sure to visit Trojan Battery's website to read more about battery technology and other useful battery information. Thank <laughs> you.